Montana is my home. It's where I belong. Uh, I am comfortable here both with the landscape, which is terribly important to me, and uh, it's just, just where I've always felt at home. This is also a storytelling culture out here, and there is a saying that says, a man who can't tell a good lie is not well thought of. <laughs> I remember growing up just wonderful, elaborate stories it sounded so very true until you got toward the end and you realized you'd been really had. <laughs> That's what all novelists do, isn't it? They take something small and make a very long story out of it. I will have a story form somewhere back in the dim recesses of my mind, a place I probably ought not go, actually. And I sit down at the typewriter. When I am ready to go, I start. I have no idea how it's going to end. It comes very fast, very quickly. But uh, my, my writing doesn't come when it's called. It just comes when it's there. Everything changes. A lot of places that used to be populated now aren't. It's a, a bit of a lament for the loss of rural life. I really love sitting in country bars and road houses. There, a very old man said to me once, you're a writer, ain't you? Well, you listen good so that people know how things was around here. I thought that was very astute because he knew something was vanishing and that all that he knew when he and a few others died would be gone, it would be taken by the wind unless somebody made a story out of it. Everybody has a story but it's a writer's business to make it a good